Chelsea drew back with another video if this is your first time welcome to my channel if you're a subscriber thank you so much and welcome back and let's get right into the video so as you guys can see by the title I'm talking about running for position at FAMU now y'all I know Nala Brown that's my homegirl is somewhere sitting watching this video and probably just like literally letting out a laugh because we talked about this in the car one day, it was like in the semester, and I was like, I'm not going to really record these kind of videos because I'm not a college um, YouTuber, which I definitely stand by to this day. I consider myself a lifestyle YouTuber, so I never thought I was going to bring my college experience into this, which a lot of my videos, the most popular videos on my channel are um, college based, but you know, I don't really vlog um, ever, really. I'm not really, so I'm not a college vlogger. Um, but I do, I am in college. I do go to college, so I did decide that I wanted to discuss this, which took a lot of time for me to, dis like, to decide to discuss this. But, um, yeah, so, um, we'll get into what this means, because I know some of y'all don't even go to fan, you're probably like, what is she talking about? But yeah, I want to just put that out there as a disclaimer. I'm not a college blogger, or really a college YouTuber, but I am in college for my third year, and, um, yeah, so I'm really trying to just be a lifestyle vlog blogger, YouTuber more so than college only because I feel like a lot of my experiences are going to be done or filmed and you know talked about outside of my school so I want to put that out there you guys think I'm only talking about college um but like I said I'm a college student so you know these topics will definitely arise this one that I definitely had to um let sit um like y'all have said sit sit in it for a while um and just something that I had to decide that I want to put out there and a big thing I'm trying to do now with my life and everything that I do is where are my intentions at when I do something. So I didn't really um, feel like I had any intentions or any purpose of making a video like this. But then as, you know, I've progressed throughout, you know, the last couple of months, I've been able to, you know, kind of see what I want to do. And that's one thing that I want to do with my intentions being just to inform people and just to talk and, you know, be a source of information. Um... For those who are like me and that's the purpose of this video but i'm going to rewind a little bit and then get back into this part so you guys understand where i'm coming from so like i said i'm a third year um rattler i'm at famu which is um the number one hbcu ever to exist so if you guys don't know what famu is yeah that's you know that's my hbcu um and i love fam so um basically we have every year elections. Well, we have twice a year because we have it in the fall and in the spring. But the big ones are in the spring, which are elections for um, SGA, president, vice president, whatever, senators. Um, you have your class president, your class vice president. You have everything. Mr. FAMU, Miss FAMU, um, the attendants, and the kings and queen of orange and green. And basically, for those of you guys who are not at FAMU or not at any HBCU, so you won't, and you don't know what this is, Basically, your recruiters for your school, and um, more specifically, the queen, the kings and queens, the Mr. and Miss FAMUs, and the attendants are the people who represent FAMU as a whole. When we go on our trips, wherever we go, they're the recruitment tool that we use, along with presidential ambassadors. So, um, yeah, let's get right into it. So, I decided that I was going to run for Queen of Orange degree at my school um, last year. Well, sophomore year. So, basically, a few months ago, I decided I was going to run in the spring which um i ran in march we usually run in february but that'll be a discussion but before so yeah so before i go any further this video is going to be um cut up into series because i definitely feel like i need time to decide what i'm going to discuss what i'm going to discuss how i'm going to discuss it so much information that i want to share with you guys um my hands are going everywhere my bad but um so much i want to talk about and i can't put it in just one video because there's so much information and so as the time progresses I will definitely be having video after video about this but this is kind of just the intro and kind of like a understanding of you know the basics of the basics of the basics of running there for a position at FAMU and it's different at every HBCU and everywhere um FAMU is definitely I think the most um 
ambitious, <laughs> I guess, um, with our election process. So you guys probably want to hear things that you're like, what? But you know, you'll kind of understand it as I go along. But today specifically, I want to discuss why and how I decided I was going to run. Um, how I set up money to run, like where did that money come from? And what did I do financially to run and how much it costs and all of that kind of stuff. And then three, kind of the process and getting prepared to run for the position. Um, so those are three topics. Hopefully, I put them in the three because I hope it'll, it won't be too long. But I talk a lot and it's a lot to cover. So hopefully it won't be a long video. But um, yeah, so let's get into it. So I'm running for Queen of Georgia Green. How I decided to do that was you have your different positions. You're Mr. and Ms. FAMU, your attendance, and your King of Queen of Georgia Green. And I have so much spirit. I'm very boisterous. I'm very loud. I'm over the top. I'm exciting. Football games are like my favorite um, time of the year. Uh, basketball games are too. I just love, you know, anything to do with my spirit for my school. I also am a cheerleader. Well, was a cheerleader. Um, like from kindergarten until like my senior year in high school. And I didn't cheer in college. I haven't cheered in college. Um, but, you know, I always, you know, still felt like I had a cheerleader in me, you know what I mean? And Queen of Orange and Green, she displays that so well. Um, she has the mix of class and poise and elegance, but she's also spirited. She has fun, and she recruits students to come to FAMU. So those um, seniors in high school and high school students who are about to make the decision where they're going to go for college, you know, to see someone who can be that warm person but is also excited and has that vigor to want to attend their university, it's just so positive for anybody who's deciding to, um, you know, come to FAMU. So I wanted to be that person that could, you know, just share my love for FAMU and then hopefully bring somebody to the hill. You know what I mean? And I'm still recruiting. I'm a presidential ambassador. And then also my cousins are coming to FAMU. So just talking to them. Anybody I've talked to us in high school, I'm like, girl, you need to come to FAMU because that's how much I love my university. Um, so, yeah. So that's how I decided to do that. I talked to... And, I knew, like I said, I knew I wanted to be part of the World Court, but it wasn't until I talked to my friends. I talked to Nala and Sharon in the car like three or four times. And they would be like, okay, so are you going to run or whatever? I got in the car. It would be like an hour conversation. They would say, you going to run? And I'd be like, not for sure, but like possibly. I'm like 80% sure. And then we talked again like two weeks later, and I said the same thing. And then finally one day I said, okay, I'm running. Like I'm going to officially do it. Because um, obviously there's fear that comes along with it. I'll discuss that why in a minute. But um, I just decided I was going to do it. And talking to my friends definitely made my decision easier to make and more official. But I'm going to say, talking to my sister, she was completely against it. She was like, you need to be a part of that, you know, community. She doesn't like politics. Um, and how she's like, fam, you are in any HBCU um, can, you know, be a lot and be overwhelming while you're trying to go to college, too. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, my sister, like I said, was not really feeling it. She was just like, no, she had been at FAMU four years before me, so she graduated when I got there or whatever. But, um, so she knew the game, you know what I'm saying? And she's the most, um, recent rat like, that was my family. Like, my brother went years before her or whatever. My parents went in the 80s. So, you know, I'm like looking to her for all the advice for the new 21st century stuff or whatever. And, um, you know, she was just like, no, I don't to do that. You know, I know the kind of person that you are. You're positive. You don't want to be a part of certain environments and so she wasn't for it eventually though she was my biggest supporter like she definitely came like once I did she said okay you're doing it and I'll be there to help you but she definitely did not want me to be doing it and um I understand why but I'll be another video and then also I'm so glad that I did it anyway so we'll keep going but um so yeah I talked to her and I said that to say I talked to also a couple of my friends a few of my like um family friends that I grew up with and I was like yeah I'm gonna run some of them were like okay girl like yeah you know HBC people and then I talked to some friends who were like you need to run next year girl because so-and-so is running and you need to make sure that you don't run it because I want you to you know like just basically trying to say you know I don't need to run and then also like why are you running this year wait till next year you know all that kind of stuff but I said that to say you're not gonna get 100% like run girl or 100% don't do it you know you're gonna have those mixed reviews so it's inevitably up to you to decide in your heart because had I not want to do this for myself Girl, I would literally crumble. Like, it's so much work. It's so much effort. Everything. And if you don't know within your heart that it's for you, you're going to be so mad because it's so much you have to do. And I feel like with anything in life, if it's not your, your decision from your heart, from your soul, and that God's putting on your path and on your mind, don't get involved because I can't say it enough. Like, when I ran, um, it was a hard race, and it was exhausting, and it was trials and relations. 
and had I not wanted that in my heart to, you know, accomplish that goal, I would have felt all type of crazy, you know what I'm saying? So make a decision for yourself if you're considering running for my family, it's one of the people that are going to run in the fall, the freshmen, and the graduate students too, but y'all, y'all know the game because y'all graduate students. But, um, you know, the ones, the favorite 21 people that are coming in, do not let anyone convince you because you're cute or because you're popular. It's, if you don't want it, don't go for it because it's going to be your money, your time, your energy wasted, spent, and it's not worth it. So, um, but if you do want to run and you have that in your heart and you feel like, yes, I need to do this to just satisfy this feeling that I'm feeling, go for it. Because people are going to say, don't do it if you're not, you're not happy enough, you're not, you know, you're not well known enough or whatever it is. Don't let that stop you. Um, go for it anyway. But like I said, it's up to you inevitably. I talked to people for weeks. Literally, it was like a couple of weeks, a couple of months process for me to finally say I'm going to run. But um, inevitably, it was up for me at the last, like the last response that I needed to have. That yes, for me, the deciding factor was from me. So um, that's important. I got a little dramatic. But it's so important because it's just like we do so much for other people and it just never works out. Don't ever do that. So the next part is financially getting ready for it. Um, so much drama, y'all. Listen, people don't want to give you straightforward answers ever. Especially when it's at HBCU, because black people, we like to add seasons to everything. So I'm talking to my friends, I'm like, how much do I need to save up? Because the friends I was talking to were the ones who had done campaigns before. So they knew the money that was going into it. And, you know, I had no idea. I had not done a campaign before. Spring semester before, I said I can't get involved in anybody's race. People were asking me, I was like, I can't get involved. And then my friend, um, my friends that ran before, I just, you know, didn't ask them how much money they were spending. So, um, it was up to me to decide how much I was going to spend, y'all. And it was just crazy because me, I'm not a spender for things that are material for people to kind of just appreciate themselves. It's for me. If I'm going to spend money, it's for me. I enjoy it and I want that. You know what I'm saying? Not for anybody else. So, this one was a lot of money, y'all. I, I got really, really wanted. So, I was blessed to get a scholarship fall semester going into my sophomore year. President Mangum, the best president ever. I absolutely, President Mangum is so amazing. She's my girl. I'm so sad that we don't have her anymore. But she's just like, oh, she's just, uh, I want to have a whole video about her because that's my girl. Like, I absolutely adore her. Like, she's just so precious. And I really just, I love her. I connect with her so much. But, um, she doesn't even know who I am, but that's my girl. Like, God, I love her. Um, but you know, she gave me a scholarship for sophomore year. And I'm only giving you guys the numbers because people that, like me who did not know how much went into it um, so they can know. But, you know, financial situations are different for every single person. So I don't want to influence you guys anyway. I don't think if they have this much money or have this little money, whatever. It's up to you, but um, to what I spent. I don't want to talk about it, but I guess I will. Just for the sake of information, you guys. I got a scholarship, $4,000. Um, just, you know, whatever additional to how much money I get for the school year anyway and it was only for the fall semester so I had to split between the fall and the spring and half of that I said I'm going to my rent specifically and the other half was for campaign even though I had not decided officially I was going to really officially run I knew I was going to run in my heart so I said I'm going to save this and then the worst case scenario I don't run I'll spend it for something else so I had two thousand um, dollars saved from literally August all the way up until uh, April, March, March um, 2017. Um, and I said, that's not really enough exactly, so I'm going to raise money from my family, um, another $1,000. So in total, I made $3,000. I saved that up, and that was my budget. And I made it, I chose that much because I made a budget specifically, how much I was going to spend, how much I wanted to spend, my max for everything, and then if I went over that, too bad to say I'm not going to be able to spend that much money. Um, and that's how I raised my money, based on that figure that I made of myself. Um, so literally, it's up to you what you have financially. Don't bend over backwards because, honestly, even if you do win, if you do not win, the money you spend is your own personal prerogative. You don't need to impress anybody with your money because people will want you to impress them. And then when you act, when you broke and your lights out, they're going to be sitting there chilling in the AC like, girl, you should have spent that money then. You know what I'm saying? Don't do it, you guys. Don't get peer pressure into spending money for things you don't need. Just really, it's about your spirit, about what your basic um, themes and ideas are. And you go from there. But, um, yeah, so that's how I spend my money. Um, I raise my money. And then um, my family, I sent them sponsorship letters. It was a page letter, like, literally. It was the cutest thing ever, y'all. I had my little logo with um, that I use for everything. Um, 
and then just a letter. It was talking about my GPA, why I'm involved in on campus, what Queen of Orange and Green is, what's the position I'm running for, um, you know, who I am as a student on campus, off of campus, in the community, and why I wanted it. And just basically explain it. Because a lot of people in my family went to FAMU, you know, because we, we strong like that. But some of them went to Bethune, and they didn't really know what QLG was. So I had to kind of, you know, express that to them. And then some of them went to Spelman or Clark or wherever. So I had to make sure I was very clear with what it was and why I wanted it and why it was important for me to have it. And then why they're giving my money, um, why they're giving money to it for me. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's easier. I didn't do um, GoFundMe or anything like that because I don't want... I'll get to that in another video about discretion, but I might talk about it a little bit at the end. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so I didn't want to do anything public. I wanted to do everything private. So I just literally made a, one letter and printed out like 100 sheets and literally sent them all in the mail. And then sent some through email. Um, but basically everything was to personal people, not a big thing. And I think with that, it's, for me, it was more beneficial because everyone that I sent it to, I knew who I was sending it to and they knew me personally. And it was easier for them to give to me. And then, um, it's just, I know how much money I was supposed to be kind of getting in or whatever. And everybody that replied, you know, people were giving me $20, people were giving me $100, people were giving me, you know, whatever. $50, whatever. It was just up to the person. And it added up and it got me to my $1,000, um, goal to add to my scholarship. So that was what I was a wrap. I said, okay, after this, I'm not spending any more money. Um, if anything goes over my budget, then I'll just have to cut something out somewhere and be financially smart. And I do want to stress that, you guys, be smart financially because people will get in your ear and say, you need this guy, you need this suit, you need this whatever. Don't listen. If you cannot afford it, don't because you're still a college student. You're not a one free. I know. Sorry. Whatever. But, you know, you have to be responsible because you are an adult at this point. Financially being, you know, careless is not cute no more. Okay. But enough about that. It's the boring stuff. But just because I had no idea what to raise, what to spend. You can spend more, you can spend less. It's up to you. Anyway, let's move on to preparing to run. Which is just talking about who I told, how I told them, when I told them. Y'all, this, like, I'm just so glad I'm not running anymore because Jesus, like, I'm looking at my friends who are um, on Instagram that go to FEMA or whatever. And you can see who's getting ready to run. And it's really good. But it's just like, I remember you know, that exhaustion, and it's exhausting, okay? But, um, I digress. Anyway, y'all, so, um, the last thing, getting ready to run. Like I said, you guys, um, my sister did not want to run, um, I mean, they want me to run, and she didn't run when she was here because she was against family politics, and, um, I am too, in a sense, but low-key, we'll discuss that in another video, because that's definitely a long topic. But, um, you know, so I basically said that to say I didn't really have anyone in my family who had run for anything on a rural court ever. Um, and that having one in my family who, you know, was like savvy about that kind of stuff because there is literally, it's just a different world. I mean, pun in, not intended, but you can use the pun if you want to. But, um, you know, it's, different, it's a different world in this aspect of FAMU. So, like I said, I didn't know anybody really personally who had run um, I decided I was going for Queen of Orange and Green, like I said, because of the spirit, all that kind of stuff. And my Queen of Orange and Greens that I knew before, um, that inspired me were specifically the top, well, the three that were just like, I was like, yes. Like, every time I had anything, any questions, I would just think about these people or anything, anytime I doubted myself, I would think about these people, um, was JT, Janae Thompson. She was Queen of Orange and Green before I got to FAMU. But, um, that's my sister's best friend, so I definitely, you know, just watched her as she was there. Um, IJ, um, that's my girl, first international queen of one degree, and she's such, she's just everything. That's my girl. And Kira Holiday. Now, she was here before, um, I was there, too, as queen of one degree. But like I said, so I didn't have her experience, but she's just such a, like, you know, she just embodies everything that I said. If I want to be something, I want to be something like that. So those are the people that I just looked at and, you know, um... And, you know, just let inspire me or whatever. And the people that I was able to communicate with the most for this um, decision in my life was IJ and Janae. Oh, the biggest thing with me was just discretion. Listen, listen, we're going to pause this video. If y'all running for Queen of Orange Green or Mr. Family or Miss Family or whatever you're running for, if you're going to run for it, listen. I might get y'all in trouble, so don't listen to me, but low-key listen. Because I might just like, go back in time. Anyway... This is not D9, y'all. This is not Divine 9. Discretion. I'm going to 
probably in trouble for saying this, but it does not matter. Like, do not be discreet because campaign week is a whole week of you telling everybody on campus you're running for Queen Moore's degree or whatever you're running for. You're telling them that, hey, I'm running people for me. It's literally, that's what the process is for a whole week. So I don't see the purpose of being discreet when you end up not being discreet. That makes sense. I don't know. Because I'm just saying that because I was so gun ho on being discreet. I literally set a deadline. So I'm not going to tell anybody until homecoming. The day after homecoming is over. So basically Sunday, but technically Monday after homecoming is over. Because then people will um, not kind of know. Because I be, I'm at football games, I'm crunk. Like, I'm crunk. You know what I'm saying? I'm just at another level. Okay? I'm literally like... You're on another level at football games. So I don't want nobody seeing me at the football games and saying, well, she going to be running, girl. She, mm-hmm, you know, she running. Yeah, you know, Chelsea running. So I don't want that to happen. So I was just very, very discreet. Don't be discreet. Do not be discreet. It, the minute you decide in your heart and in your soul that you're going to run for a position at FAMU, tell everybody, start sending, start sending texts. Girl, what you doing today? Going to Triple F, Cap, Rockwell, Queen, Green. Like, literally, just tell people because... The biggest thing, like, I know I have ran to people where I was like, I'm running for Queen Orange Green. They're like, oh my gosh, somebody already told me. I really would, wish I would have known you were going to run because I would have voted for you or whatever. Or vice versa, girl, you told me first. I'm, I'm voting for you because you told me first. So I don't, don't worry about nothing else. And it's just those kind of things. But it's just up to timing, low key. So don't be discreet because there's no rules being discreet. Low key, there are such things as pre campaigning. But technically, I don't know. Like, I don't know even after running for it. Like, this, it doesn't make sense still, but yeah, I, that's just my advice. Talk to somebody else. Talk to me in the DMs, whatever, because I don't talk about it forever. But you don't have to be discreet. Tell everybody you know um, once you decide it's for you. And the worst concern you don't end up running people. They don't like you. Don't run like that's you just don't run. It's okay. Like don't be embarrassed if you don't run because if it's not for like I said earlier, it's not for you. Don't waste your time, your money, your energy because it's a long process. It's strenuous. It can kill you. No, it can't. But it could. It wants to kill you, but don't let it kill you because you're a child of God. But, um, yeah, I just, I said that to say, I was um, worried about telling people, I was like, I don't want to tell anybody, I want anybody to know that I'm running for Queen of Boys Green for a long time, like for two, three months, four months, really, maybe longer than that. I was waiting to tell people because I just was like, I want to be discreet. But this is not Divine Nine, whatever they want to try to make you think it is, it's not Divine Nine. So don't be worried, okay? Tell your friends, tell your parents. Tell your classmates because inevitably you have to tell them anyway. So just get a head start. It'll help in the long run. I don't know. It didn't help me because I was discreet. So don't be me. Um, anyway, that's going to get me in trouble. I'm sure it will. I don't even know. I said I don't want to discuss it too much because I'm, like I said, I'm not really into politics like that at FAM. So I just was on the outskirts or whatever. But, you know, we had things like the mafia and things like the underground politic, political parties. I say politic. Political parties um, that exist. So people are really getting helped from campaign managers and, you know, friends that are in the know of these things. And if you're like me, I had no idea what the mafia was. Like, I had no idea what underground political parties were. So for me, I, like, I'm getting all of the information I'm getting from, like, JT. I'm calling Nay. I'm like, Nay, hey, well, how you do this? She would tell me. I'm, but, you know, I would call them and be like, what's going on? How do I do this? I don't know what this is about. And they tell me. But, you know, it's just like you kind of have to... Just go out there and go for it. That's why I'm here, y'all, because I didn't have the information that the mafia and um, the political parties. I just say the mafia because that's what they would call them that I knew. It's more than mafia, I think. It's like a few more. Um, I don't know too much about it, so I can't tell y'all too much. But, um, you know, just they have that information. So it's like they're getting that advice from someone. So I didn't have that sort of information or that sort of advice. But, you know, tell people because... It's just, it helps you in the long run. People will have you on their mind, um, and they'll know when the time comes. Oh, so I'm still running for Queen Moore's degree, so I'm going to help her out. But, um, yeah, that was the process of just telling people was just very hard. I told a lot of my friends, I told a lot of my classmates, but people that I did not know if they were supporting somebody else, I didn't tell them. If you're not, like, tell the people that you think supporting somebody else, too. So, like, say somebody's supporting Sally or Queen Moore's degree, but I'm running as well. You can tell them, and if they don't want to vote for you, they're not going to vote for you. But at least you tell them, so they kind of at least feel like you thought of them. Because I personally didn't do that, because I was like, you know what, I know she's voting for so-and-so, so I want to I wanna offend her or whatever. But just do it. People are not going to get offended, and if they do, just pray for them. Um, just playing. No, but for real, pray for people. But you know, it's just, you want to have the right intentions. If your intentions are clean, and they're nice, and you're not bullying people into voting for you, then boom, you're good. And 
and personally that's what I was so blessed to be able to have that experience of knowing that I was running for the right reasons I literally had God on my heart the whole way through because if I didn't I would have died no lie um it was crazy out there in them streets y'all but um yeah so I was definitely solo dolo out there I wasn't um I don't know and for those of you guys I'm sorry I kind of spit over that if the mafia and the underground parties whatever like that I don't know about them too much, like I said, so it, it's just based on the Democrats and Republicans. And if you're like Bernie Sanders, who's like neither, but you kind of low-key want to be a Democrat or whatever. Like, I was Bernie Sanders out there in them streets, you feel me? So, um, you know, you're like the independent political party, and you're just like, what is going on? What's Al Gibbers like? What's going on? What this? It's literally, it was that for me. But, um, so that was a big part of the um, process of preparing to run, was just telling people. So get out there. When you decide, tell people you know, tell your teachers, tell your professors, tell your dean. Okay, y'all, so I'm running out of stories. Like I said, I'm making this into a series because this video is getting too long. But um, like I said, you know, when you decide you want to run, just tell people, you know, whoever you do know, whoever you don't know, tell your friends, tell your classmates. And just don't be afraid to speak about it because, like I said, it's not denied. Discretion is not mandatory. And even though people might want to say that to you and try to make it seem like it is, um, a thing, it's not a thing. And like I said, people, people that are in those um, political parties already are not using discretion. So you're going to be the one that's going to be like, girl, die, you know, that got to be discreet. So mainly for the freshmen, even for the sophomores, I know as a sophomore, junior, senior, whoever, you know, if you're not involved in politics heavily at FAMU and you don't know this, you don't have to be discreet because you think you have to because no one else is really talking about it, but just whatever. Um, but like I said, too, if you don't know um, for sure and it's not on your heart, don't go talking about it. Um, you know, before you say something, make sure you really want to do this thing. Because even if you decide you don't want to run and it's not for you later on, that's fine. But no, once you tell people, they're going to start talking. You know, they're going to just, it's going to, like wildfire, it's going to spread. Like, girl, I have stories about that. People think you're going to run, they're going to make, you know, lists and whatever. So it's not a bad thing if you are running, but if you're not running or you kind of decide, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do, um, it's going to kind of mess your, you up mentally because you're going to have people in your head now and not just your own um, thoughts, your own decisions. This was definitely one of the best experiences of my college career so far. Um, I can't say that enough. It changed me as a person. And I didn't say this in the be beginning of the video. Maybe I will add a clip just to clarify, but I ran for Queen of Orange and Green. I did not win. I actually lost. Um, and overall, with the experience, still, I'm so glad that I um, did it. I feel like I would do it again, I'm sure. Uh, it was just so exhausting and mentally, spiritually, and emotionally challenging. Um, and I don't want anybody to ever feel bad about this process if they don't have to, or at least not be knowledgeable about it. Like, I wasn't knowledgeable about a lot of things because so, thing, so many things go... Um, on undercover. That's why I'm making this video. My intentions are just to educate whoever wants to run for a position at FAMU. If you're interested, if you're even considering it this much, I might say, nah, it's not for me. As long as, you know, I can be that voice to just kind of, you know, freely talk to you guys about that kind of stuff because it, it goes on every year. It goes on twice a year. So we should know about it. Um, and I want to be public about it. So no, I did not win. I actually lost. Um, but overall, my experience, I want to share it with you guys because it was so precious to me. But overall, it was a great experience. If you're thinking about running for a position at FAMU or anywhere at any HBCU specifically, but even at a PWI, wherever you are, you know, I hope this video helps you and I hope you guys can get some understanding of it. And like I said, feel free to DM me. We can talk forever. Email me. Well, I don't do email, but DM, you know, and we'll just be able to turn up, y'all, because this is like an experience that we want to be able to share. But... God bless you guys. Walk in your purpose, walk in your passion, and walk in your intentions. Don't be afraid to speak up for what you believe in. Don't be afraid to just go out to on the ledge and just do the doggone thing. You, will, you know what I'm saying? You're a child of God. You can really do anything you want to do. Um, just peace and blessings to all of you guys. And thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe, to like, to comment. I mean, I hope you guys stay for more videos. I'll have Soulful Sundays up on Sundays. And the other things uploaded on Wednesday. Maybe. I don't really know. But that's what I'm thinking about doing. So, um, yeah. That was a lot. I need some water. Like, I'm just, I'm talking for a whole hour. So, uh, yeah. Peace and blessings. It's your girl, Chelsea Drew.